Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we have another video related to Square and how it can help streamline your small business. So we're gonna be discussing Square invoices today and the different topics such as how to create an invoice, how to have your inventory populate, how to get taxes on there, and so many other good tips that are gonna help you on your journey as a small business owner. So let's go ahead and get started. <music> Square invoicing now. So this, if you have previously watched how to get all of your items imported into your library, so that way you have all of your items in there and your inventory and you're ready to go. Now we're going to talk about invoicing. So this is very big for my business. I do a lot of shipping. Um, and even if you don't do shipping, you know, it's, and you need to do invoices for whatever reason, this is going to be so beneficial for you. So when the, you're on this, this is like your main home screen. If you have multiple locations, you can change it by location here. Um, otherwise, you're going to click invoices over there. So this is where you're going to see all of your invoices. And you it is so easy to do. So you'll click create invoice. And then you can come in here and you can type in um, your client's name and their email and all of that. You can add additional recipients. You can label them different things. I don't use this category too much. And then if you want to have invoice numbers, I've just let mine run throughout the whole time that I've had my square. Um, but you can customize this if you have certain invoice numbers that you're following. And then you can select here whether they're going to get the invoice manually, which means you're going to provide it to them, um, or if you're going to send it by email. So I always send it by email to my clients, and then that way they have a copy in their inbox, then they can go in and pay it. If I'm in person, I'll show you how to do invoicing if you're in person collecting money um, through the app. Otherwise, you can select the frequency. So this is really nice. So if somebody is getting, uh, let's say, a subscription box for you or something, you can come in here and select recurring and then select how often um, you actually want it to recur and then like when it's due. So that's really nice to have. Again, I don't really use that a ton for my business, but if I were to do something like a subscription box, that would be a great great way to have it in there because then Square is going to automatically send that invoice out for me. So now here comes the meat and potatoes to your invoice. You've already selected who your client is and Square will keep your clients in a database so you can see all your customers listed um, and get to all of their invoices through there. However, right now you'll select your client and you'll come over here and say what your item is. So we're going to sell a, oops, that's not how you spell it. A uh, blue red lip sense is what we're gonna sell so you're gonna click that and then the nice thing here is that you can come and customize so say this is 15% off I can click for that specific item that I want it 15% off and we'll say that they live in Sarasota so we're gonna collect Sarasota taxes and then let's say this other item they're gonna get um, the rollerball trio so this they're not getting 15% off but I want to collect Sarasota taxes so you can see now now they can see exactly what they're getting 15% off on and you have your sales tax down here and you can add additional discounts or if you don't have your discounts in there because say they're they change each time or they have a coupon code or whatever you can type it in here so maybe they got um, birthday coupon and you can say you can do either percentages or you can do dollars so let's say they they got $20 off with their birthday coupon so you can add it so then it's going to add it in here it'll adjust the taxes for you and have their um, amount here so you can also have like request deposits so if you're um say you're in like roofing or gutters i don't even know why house stuff is coming to mind but say you're in something like that and they you want them to place a deposit you can request the deposit here and then if you're going down, so you can customize these reminders um, in your settings. So this is nice to have. And I have to request shipping address on since I ship all of my products. And I also use another product called Zen Sales, which I will have a video coming later on that. But I use a product called Zen Sales, which Square imports into and it takes all their address information. So I just have to click and put in the weight of whatever item I'm shipping and then print my label. It's so nice. So um, you can request their address if you need it. And then again, if you're like allowing a tip, maybe your restaurant or something, I don't know, um, you can have it so that they can allow tip or to save their card and file. I don't have either of those turned on for mine, but you can do that and then add attachments as well. So they're just uh, nice to have um, other options to your invoice. So once you have all this filled in, 
you're just going to select to send and it's going to send it off. So since I didn't put in a client up here, I'm not going to go ahead and click send. But that is literally all that you would do. If you want to change the due date, you can change it right here. You can say due in seven days. It'll put the date. Um, so it's there's a lot of customization happening here. You can write a custom message here. Um, hope you love your new lip color. So you can change that message to um, customize it for each client. But if there's something that you want said in every single invoice that you send out, you can do that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So when you're in here, same spot, if you're from the home tab, you're just going to click invoices. When you're here under invoices, you can go to settings and invoices, and then you can come in here and change that message. So you can change this to be whatever you want. It's going to show up on every um, invoice. So I have that. I have some videos, or I know there's girls on our team that have videos that they want sent with each product purchase because they're standard videos, things that clients need to know, and it just makes it easy because they're right there on the invoice. And then you can, so I have it selected that due upon receipt is my standard. Standard, but maybe your standard is due in 15 days, due in 30 days. That's when your invoices are due. So you can change that here um, to mark it so that when it populates, you're not constantly changing it. It's already set for you. And then again, same thing. You can schedule like when you want it to send to them. Mine is always immediately when I'm doing my invoice and same with standard of that. So here's where you would change email or invoice reminders. So once the invoice is sent, if it's not paid within that time, Square is going to resend a reminder email to them. This is so nice to have. A lot of times my clients don't see it or it gets buried among other emails. So this is Square sending it right out to them um, as a reminder and they'll get it as many times as you request here. And I have this turned on because I want to request shipping for every order for new addresses. And then here's where the cool thing is. So down here, you can click settings uh, or account and settings for email custom or email. Oh my goodness, you guys, for invoice customization. So you will click that. We're just going to say discard changes. And then this is where you can upload your digital, um, your logo for your receipts. So I don't have printed because I'm not printing invoices from here. But if you did, you can upload that. But your digital one here, you can upload and you can change the color of your invoice to match your branding, whatever it is for your business. And then you can turn on this referral banner, which well, I don't know why you wouldn't want that on. So if you are interested in starting Square and getting $1,000 off your first, or if you're interested in getting your first $1,000 of processing for free, I have a link below. If you want to click that, we'll both get $1,000 off our processing. Otherwise, I hope this video is at least helpful um, while you're getting your square set up. So you can have this on your banners for your receipts, which is kind of nice to have. Um, you can choose whether you want to show your location in I don't have location. Mine's like mostly mobile. So I have that turned off and then you can show, let me just scoot up so you can see, cause you can kind of see what is going to look like here. Oops. I want that off. And then let's click show item. So if you have an item description, like how I was typing in um, the last video about inventory Im importing your inventory, and I typed in that it was a cool red lip color that would show up here. So I have that turned off because it seems like a lot of information to have on my invoice. But again, depending on your business, it might be beneficial for you to have. And then obviously you want to fill in all of this goodness so that they can click on it easily and get to all your contact info. So fill in your website and Instagram and Facebook and all the things. And then I have my return policy listed down here because with all of our makeup and skincare products, it's 100% money back guarantee. So you have a year and the bottle can't be empty, but you have up to a year to exchange or return. Um, and that is the nice thing. So I have that listed here. So it also goes out on every single invoice that's sent and you can add anything extra. So like their example here is now hiring, or if there was something, um, you had some promo coming up that you wanted people to know, or maybe you were hosting an event, all of that you can change here on this custom text. So this is kind of nice because it really customizes your receipts and you can customize it by location as well. Well, so let's go back to invoices and settings. 
invoices and let's make sure there's nothing else down here. So inventory management, this is what we did earlier where I was showing you how to, or in the last video where I was showing you how to import your inventory items, uh, you will have that all set up. So if you don't know how to do that, then go ahead and watch my last video on, I'll put the link somewhere on this video screen, whatever YouTubers do here, here, wherever. Um, so that way you can see how to import your inventory items so that you can use them for your or invoices. All right, let's see. So now let me go ahead and create an invoice. I can show you how to issue a reef. Oh, I don't know if I can do a, a blank invoice. Let me see. Um, oops, it's not what I wanted. The other eye. And so now my info is in there. So we're gonna go ahead and click here and we'll do a blue red. That's the one that I'm using this time. All right, and so we're gonna say, oh, okay, there's no sales tax and no shipping. So we're just gonna charge the $25. So we're sending it and then you will see what it looks like from here. So now all of your invoices are gonna populate here in your invoice um, little hub so you can, alter by the time to see if you're looking for a specific invoice over a certain time period. You can change that here. Same with location. Um, and then you can see in here that it's not been viewed and that it's due today. So if I go in and I go to my email, I can see that I have an invoice that needs to be paid today. And it's from, um, this direct sales CPA or whatever. So let me see if I can pay it and then I'll show you guys how to refund it. Okay, so now it's showing that I've paid. So I'm just gonna refresh this screen and then you're gonna see on this end that now this says that this invoice was paid. So you can see that I viewed it and that it was paid. So when I'm over here, I will also get another email that says um, that I paid an invoice. So it's like a custom receipt. So I'm getting that receipt. You can see that as the customer on your end that it's been paid. And then you as the shop owner can see that it's been paid here. So now let's talk about how you would refund um, if like something happened and they came back to return it. So you will come over here and you can click these three um, little dots and say issue refund or maybe you invoiced incorrectly and they paid it and then they realized after the fact the nice thing is is if there are multiple items on the invoice you can now click individually or maybe they're getting everything um, returned or you can click refund amount and just refund a specific amount I don't even know what card that is <laughs> All right, so if you go over here, we're gonna issue a refund for the full amount because I'm not actually buying a lip color for myself. And you can select a reason. Um, and then if you click other, you can actually type in here. So I've had where sales tax accidentally got charged for two separate locations to a client and I needed to just refund that. So I came in here and put other and then I put a reason. So that way you can see it when you're going back through and you're like, wait, I don't remember them returning something. Um, you can see the reason for it. So we're gonna just go ahead and say accidental charge and then say issue refund. So then when we refresh, we're gonna see that it says refunded. Oh, just kidding. All right, so once the refund processes, this over here where it says paid was gonna actually say refunded. So, um, once this goes through as a refund, they, your client will get an email that says that it's been refunded um, and it will say instead of paid, it will say refunded and it's in a blackish gray color. So that way also when you're scrolling through that you can see that this was refunded. All right, so now that we've gone through how to create your invoice and all the things that relate to Square invoices, I hope that was helpful and it's definitely gonna get you on the right track for making your business look more professional and again, streamline. That's the key, right? As a small business owner, anything to streamline your life. So hopefully it was helpful. If you have any comments, again, leave them below in the comments box and I will do my best to answer them. And if you would like to follow along my journey as a small business owner, make sure you follow any one of these things wherever they pop up on the screen. I don't know. That's my husband's job. Make sure you follow along and I will see you next time.
that was a lot of information. <laughs>